From a losing streak to a winning streak, Grand Rapids Union's varsity football team lost 45 games straight. But a new coach last season brought them their first win in years. This year, two games in, and they're undefeated. It's the first time in 18 years that they've won back-to-back -back games. News 8's Heather Walker has a look at their journey to victory. We've been following this team for a while now. The Union High School football team proving no matter where you start, you can end up a winner. It, it wasn't easy, as you can see. That's all hard work. The seniors on this team have been pushing through the losses, playing with empty stands, taking long trips on the city bus, or even walking to get to practice. I used to have to walk from downtown all the way to Union just to get to practice sometimes. How long of a walk is that? That's like an hour and a half, two hour walk. Only to find less than a handful of players show up, which meant trash cans were used to stand in on plays. From trash cans to this? For, yeah, from trash cans to having freshmen with us, having this whole varsity team is different. That difference started with Don Fellows. Don't get so down on yourself at practice. I'm not. Okay. Well, I just don't like, I want you to lose your energy, you know what I mean? You're going to be a freaking superstar here. 100%. Fellows took over last season, getting Union their first win since 2015. There are now 66 kids on the team, up from 17 when he started. But it's not just his state championship coaching. He found ways to even the playing field for these kids, bringing in buses, equipment, and even something simple as a sandwich. Picking kids up, taking them home, um, having barbecues with them, uh, you know, building the program. And I think our kids, our kids really want to be part of something special. And he did too, which is why Fellows took the job, saying he sees a lot of himself in these players. I remember being the last one picked because maybe I didn't have the right cleats on. I will never let that happen to our kids. I want them to feel confident. But it took help from the community. When I took the job, I said this is a, a citywide mission. Um, we're trying to change young, young people's lives. And that goal is being met. So that's just like in life. When something don't go your way, don't give up. Even if it's like key repeatedly knock you down, knock you down, something good gonna happen eventually. You just gotta hang in there. Streak ended indeed. Their next game is at home against Mona Shores this Friday. At the live desk, Heather Walker, News 8.